Welcome aboard the Bitcoin Express. My name is Chase. Let's get to it. There's an ad circulating right now from the FDIC urging people not to take their money out of the bank. Well, what happens if everyone takes out their money from the bank at the same time? Well, it's actually a trick question because it's very likely that a bank would not allow this to happen or at least try their very best for this not to happen. And there are two reasons why. Reason number one is because if everyone takes their money out of the bank at the same time, the bank no longer has capital, no longer has money, and they will be forced into bankruptcy and they will have to close their doors. So that's reason number one. And then reason number two, everyone can't take their money out of the bank at the same time, is because the bank does not actually have the physical cash to lend out to everybody. So when you go to your bank account and it might say $1,000 and everyone else goes to their bank and asks for the $1,000, the bank doesn't physically have the cash to hand back to you. And the reason is because banks run on something known as fa fractional reserve banking. And as the name implies, they only keep a fraction of your reserves or a fraction of your deposit. To give you an example, let's say you went to your bank and you deposited $100. Now your account says that person A has $100, but right when you make that deposit, a bank does not have to keep all of that physical cash in reserves. There is a rule depending on which bank you're using where they have to keep maybe around 10%. Again, this can change from bank to bank. So when you go to your bank and you put in $100, they only keep about $10 of cash in your account and they take the rest of the $90 and they loan it out and they also invest it. So even though they're lending out the money to other people, and essentially in this case, they're creating more money than there actually is in circulation, you still can use that money. Like for example, let's say you have a credit card. You can still use your credit card. You just can't get all the physical cash if everyone in the bank asks for the cash at the same time. They're just playing around with numbers here, digital numbers on the ledger, adding, subtracting. But you might be wondering, this can't be true. When I go to my bank and I ask for all my money, they give it to me. Well, that's because when only you go to the bank and ask for your money, there's no issue. They'll give you money, let's say, back from your reserves. That let's say you had $100. They'll give you back the 10 from your reserve account. Then they'll take money from other people's account. And this works out. The only time it doesn't work out is when everyone asks for their money at the same time. And as I mentioned, they loan out this money and they also use it to invest. What are they doing? Of course, you know, they're, they're lending it out and they're collecting interest. They're investing in businesses and markets. And this used to be a good deal. Back in the 70s and the 80s, you gave a bank your money. And you have to remember, when you give a bank your money, it kind of becomes their possession, their property. And the deal is that they're supposed to give it back when you ask. But again, it's not guaranteed. You, you essentially gave the money to the bank. So back in the 70s, 70s and the 80s, when you did this, you got a nice return. Usually savings accounts had an interest rate of about 5%. So that's a pretty good deal. Even in more recent years, it was small, but maybe you got 2% or even 1%. But now in 2020, and it looks like moving forward, those interest rates are going to be zero. And it could even happen, and it's happened in other parts of the country, where the interest rate will actually be negative. So not only will you not get anything in return, you will be paying a bank to hold money on your behalf. So when it comes to a bank run and everyone asks for their money, like I said, a bank would not allow it to happen. And how do they prevent this? What measures do they take? Well, the one they usually go to that we have seen in history is they can freeze accounts and they can freeze ATMs. So people can't actually take out that cash. They'll be happy if people still use the money in the accounts digitally, let's say through a credit card or maybe a debit card to pay for something. But if everyone actually wants their physical cold hard cash, the bank doesn't have it. And that's why you see this FDIC ad going around urging people not to take their money out of the bank. And as this article shows, it's sending the opposite sig signal. This is actually scaring people why the FDIC would even have to come out with an ad urging people not to take their money out of the bank. But in the end of the day, I just don't get it. I don't get why people would want to take out all of their money in cash when there's real hard assets out there that people can invest in, such as gold, such, such as stocks, and that would be stocks of companies with good balance sheets and high paying dividends, real estate, and of course, my favorite, Bitcoin. 
I hope that you found value in today's video. And if you like it, go down below, subscribe to the channel, show some love. Thank you for listening and I'll see you next time.